Want to get better at Brawlhalla? You've come to the right place. Me and Odin are going to help you go on a journey to master all the weapons so that you can finally reach Valhalla and claim all the glory. This edition will feature the hammer, arguably one of the most agitating weapons in the game, but still does have a high skill ceiling and isn't too hard to master. So get ready gamers. Three, two, one, brawl! Neutral light attack, side light attack, down light attack, neutral air attack, side air attack, down air attack, and finally, ground pound and recovery. With all the movesets out of the way, let's get into combos. The grapple hammer is one of the only weapons in the game to still have more than two true combos. Hitting a downlight on hammer can lead you into three options, one of which has to be in the air. However, it should be noted that it all depends on the opponent's health for these combos to actually be a true confirm. But let's start with the obvious downlight into jump down air. Usually to pull this off successfully all the time, you would turn around down air. If you do it too far away, it will not confirm. Or if you do it at a very high damage range. Next is downlight into jump side air. Similarly to the other downlight combo, it will only work under certain circumstances. Like for example, it won't work if they are full health or close to full health. A little bonus true combo is that while in the air, if you gravity cancel a hammer downlight, literally just press light attack again to do an air. This is actually really hard to pull off as well to be fair. You might use this to kill if you're on small brew haven where they are closer to dying off the top of the screen rather than on the side of the stage with a downlight sayer. And yeah, the other true combos also work in the air as long as you still follow the same rules of course. After that we have the combo the developers coined, the Russian Mafia which did get some nerfs over the years, but as of right now, if you do a downlight dash jump recovery in the correct spacing, you can modify the ending of the combo to the way you started it. This is how you space and position yourself to hit that version. Note, in some instances, you may have to just not jump entirely. Then there is the nerf follow-up version which doesn't require a jump, but does require the opponent to be really damaged. Usually this version is just to flex as on most stages in the game, you can just stomp into side air just fine for a guaranteed kill. The Sir version is also a version I thought was actually true until now, as of recording this video. Now we have downlight side light. This combo only works in early stages of health. If you try and do it in later stages of health, it just will not be a true confirm. Now the final true combo on this weapon, it is the side air into neutral light. Now if you choose the neutral light version, obviously whatever you do after that is just not a true confirm. And you'll have to read the opponent's movement. Although if you choose the down light option, you can do a jump down air after that and maybe start juggling your opponent with a couple of nair attacks. Just extra tips before we move on. The downlight range on ledge can allow for a sidelight true confirm follow up even in later stages of health. Movement. I've already covered this topic in a previous video, but now we will go more in depth for the specific weapon and what to actually do for playing the weapon. You know the movesets, you know the combos, now what do you do in neutral against an opponent you've never played against before? or on a map you're probably not even that great on. For starters, off of a hammer side light or neutral light, you can jump chase dodge, turn around side air, 
Then after that, we have already discussed how Ser in low health can true confirm into a neutralite. And at that point, yeah, that's damage. Now that's something for like a spot dodge scenario type movement or a dodge in-ish style. So let's say your opponent doesn't get hit by the Ser afterwards. Okay, you're back on the ground and you know what that means. You want to catch your opponent's landing, whether they're on sword or katars or orb. They're either going to counter-attack with a falling down air and you can spot dodge I guess and punish them with a down light down air or sir or they'll decide to hang back and reset neutral as long as you're acting never reacting to your opponent and making it as confusing as possible to be read if your opponent is a bit floaty your movement becomes rather limited to two options try to poke them a little bit with a nair or two or try to catch their landing and be patient However, the second option is a little more challenging considering that hammer doesn't have a hitbox move to throw out like a wall of some kind, so you could be wide open for an attack. And I think that this is where most people get hammer all wrong, because there isn't really other weapons in the game like this. If you think about it, scythe, sword, axe, rocket lance, heck even orb has some sort of neutral light attack that can be used as a body shield in a way for certain moves. But Hammer's grounded moves all require you to be close to your opponent, like a gauntlet player, which can be rather misleading considering the size of the weapon. Final advice and tips for handling this weapon in neutral are all in grounded nares have a pretty good hitbox. I do understand it's all well and good just to talk and on paper this stuff that I'm talking about seems pretty obvious. That's why I will let Core and Sentinel play a few games and let Odin be the judge of their highlights. was a fool to think you were ready. Hey! You're unworthy of your title! You're unworthy! Well, um, that was a little harsh, eh? I guess not everyone has potential. But nevertheless, if this tutorial helped you in any way, be sure to leave a like and me and Odin will catch you in the next one. I'm not so hurt I need